Hi, welcome to the fourth annual Film Mixer from Connecticut. I am here with... Christo Bakalov. I'm a cinematographer, local Connecticut resident. And we're going to talk about his experience, where he comes from, and how he found his way to Connecticut. Um, where I are you from, originally? I'm originally from Bulgaria. I moved to the United States about 10 years ago, 10 and a half already, actually. Um, and uh, I graduated from the National Film Academy in Sofia, Bulgaria, in 1983. And since then, I'm uh, doing uh, camera work and cinematography, most in Europe that time. And for the last 10 years, I worked uh, in the United States and around the world. What got you into film to begin with? Uh, actually, my passion of uh, image making starts at when I was fourth grade and I start with still photography. And since then I developed my skills and when I discover the moving pictures, I fall in love in filmmaking and I decide to be a filmmaker. In Bulgaria during the 70s, um, what kind of equipment did you use? How did you, before you went to um, university, how did you, did you do any kind of experimentation? Um, how did you first express your, your yeah, love we for had, it? Uh, good enough uh, e equipment and also the materials. And of course, there were East European, Russian film stocks and East German film stocks. Uh, but they have, uh, even there, weren't that good quality like Eastman Kodak or Fuji. They still were very good to step on and to have education over that. So I'm pleased with that that time and that education. What did you uh, originally start shooting on? Uh, we started shooting, uh, my debut was uh, 35 minute uh, narrative film and we uh, won a national uh, award for the debut at that time, which I was very proud of. And since then I, I was working on national feature film industry. What have you done? Mm, here in the United States in uh, 2003 I shot uh, my first American feature film directed by uh, and produced by Jim Wilson who is a part partner with Kevin Costner uh, mostly he's a main producer, Oscar winner, uh, winning Oscar uh, winning producer for Dancing uh, with Wolves um, that was my honor to work with these guys. They came from California and we shot the entire, the entire movie in Connecticut. Uh, and we worked with uh, Charles Miller, who was a uh, line producer, also Connecticut resident. And I was very proud to know these professionals in Connecticut. So is that how you came to Connecticut? That's how you brought in? Uh, in Connecticut, uh, actually that was um, when I won a green card lottery. <laughs> in, in Bulgaria. So, and I found a friend who helped me out in Connecticut. I'm still in Connecticut. So, because the program required to have a particular person to help me out the first days. So, I have a friend of mine who agreed to, to be in his house for the first days. And I'm still in Connecticut and I like it. So, as a filmmaker, what do you find uh, interesting about Connecticut? What are you... Uh, uh, I think Connecticut has a, a huge potential of filmmaking uh, and there are a lot of passionate people who had, uh, have a desire to make a films and my professionals, professional experience bef in the past before that. Uh, and when I came here I met real uh, good professionals also. And uh, I made friends, I made, uh, I have colleagues that I can lean on and can work with uh, them in the future. Uh, and I really, really believe Connecticut is a good place to develop the film industry. So what, what are you looking forward to doing now? What, what is um, your future for uh, 2010 and the rest of 2009? Uh, now everybody knows it's crisis, it's a little bit, the, every, everything is slow going. Uh, I had uh, one film in India was cancelled, uh, another film here in New York was postponed uh, and I'm still waiting for this postponed film to, to be on track again. Do you ever plan to do anything with uh, your home country and combined with the U.S. and 
the future? Yeah, I have uh, my partner and I in Bulgaria, we had a small production company in Bulgaria, so we're always talking about collaboration and bringing some American crews there because it's still cheaper to make films there. And there are many American films uh, shooting in Bulgaria now, in Romania, Bulgaria, and everywhere. Well, before we go, wh what is your favorite part of filmmaking? Um, you've, you've, of course, now have had um, over 20 years involved. Uh, we're, we're approaching 30. Would, um, when you look back and of all the stuff you've done, where would you find your passion uh, if you were to do it all over again? Um, and just today, when you're looking forward, what, do you, what, what, what captures you each day? Um, yes, during the years I developed and I recognized that my, my real passion is lighting, of uh, filmmaking. And I feel myself when I'm on the set and I'm creating the, the, the mood of the scene. And when I'm building the lights, when I'm tweaking the lights, and uh, just like I feel like artists uh, doing final touches with the brush when I'm doing my lights. Uh, all the other stuff like camera work, uh, the development and processing of the film and post-production, this is craft. I mean, you can put some influence there, but when you're on the set and we, we follow the actors and the mood of the scene and the spirit of the story, that's the, the best thing that I can describe that is my, my, myself is there. I'm well. there. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you for coming to Connecticut. And thank you very much. I'd like thank you to much. say to and our audience, luck, thank you for coming to the, the Force. Annual Mixer. Annual Mixer. And uh, we'll see you next year.